Hi everybody, coming at you from uh, Turtle Flambeau. Yep, got to cancel my spring trip. Uh, we all know why that. The Corona. <clears throat> Just didn't feel right about going up there. I go mid-April. I don't get permit or nothing like that. Uh, and things weren't quite open. And I, yeah, I wasn't going to do it. I didn't want to spread that stuff. Or not nah, fine, but haven't been sick at all I worked right through it also so I hope everyone's doing well but uh yeah here we are though had to get a trip in quick I got a uh, two plan for next month and just for here though different groups people um and then in August taking the family to the boundary waters so yeah problem is uh she's pretty full she's packed every uh, you guys who know the place, I've made it to, uh, was that Bailey's Lake, around the corner there. Then you start heading north. Um, every site full, a lot was full too, so I pretty much anticipated this. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna hang 10 here for a while. I'm just kind of chilling out. I've checked out a little few spa campsites past Bailey's Lake, but <clears throat> didn't really see anything open so yeah I'm just chilling here now Let's see what happens whatever if I got a stealth camp I got a stealth camp I don't know man crap I don't want to do that but I'm not doing a fire or nothing so I actually thought of this trip at 3 this morning got up I was awake well there's a reason why but uh, I'll tell you that in a second new piece of gear so yeah let's chill oh hey there's another piece of gear got a barrel Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to use it all the time, but sometimes I will. I love it now just for a table, multifunctional, man. It's pretty cool. And see, now we're at the Flambeau. Brought the radio. No portagen. Oh, yeah. There's my entertainment for this evening Jim Bridger. If you haven't read that, man, good book, good book. Uh, I'm actually a part of it right now about uh, Hugh Glass. Jim Bridger was part of that. Got to read the book to understand. He felt terrible, just so you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, just happy to be out. Just happy to be out. I see my ugly mug guys. Woo! Haven't changed much. A little older. That's about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got to show you this, man. My extra special piece of gear. <coughs> Just can't believe I got it. But uh, for all you know, I've been lugging around that 18 foot when known as Sundown or String Bean. Well, uh, String Bean got a brother, a little baby brother. Let's check it out. Yup, there it is, guys. My first real solo. Look at it. <laughs> The Winona Vagabond, 14.6. Oh man, I am stoked. I mean, from the landing to here, it took me uh, less, a little less than an hour. 50 minutes, I think, 55. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, man. I just can't believe how light it is. I can go on a race with this baby. That Ely Portage race or whatever it is. Yep, it's even got that on it. That's staying. That's not coming off. What for? He's guiding me, brother. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. And, uh, oh man, I couldn't have bought it off of a cooler of a guy, man. This guy, I mean, we talked for like an hour in his garage, and oh man. Excellent guy, excellent guy. I'm very proud to have his canoe. And I think he's proud that uh, who he sold it to. Uh, but he's got a sweet canoe also, uh, the Ad Winona Adirondack, something like that. Real nice one. It was, I know it was hard to part with, man, but I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Thanks, bud. It's going to get plenty of use. Uh, I just got this oh, two days ago. Today's Saturday. Booked after work, got it. Saturday morning, here I am. Actually, that night, took it off for a ride on a little lake by my house. 
super windy, but uh, yeah, and I can take the seat out. He's got a little foam seat made for these three Vel these, uh, Velcro strips. And uh, it's a cushiony, like almost that material. I think it is that, yeah, it is that material. Yep, never mind. But uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you in the next vid. So yeah, like I say, we're at Terra de Flambeau. You hear the motor? Probably not, but yep. That's cool though, man. Everyone's been really nice. Oh yeah, with the solo, I uh, there was a tandem canoe ahead of me quite a ways, and uh, I could they had gear, I could tell. So they had first come first serve campsites, uh, and I haul, I was hauling fat. Oh, this thing tracks, oh awesome. If anything, it's the paddler, me. <laughs> but I was flying pretty fast, and I caught right up to him, past him, thinking I'm slick because they're going for a couple of sites. So I'm gonna go towards Bailey's Lake. No, 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 it's full. But that's cool. Cause, oh, and there's a couple of sailboat people uh, out that way, back towards the landing. You know, I'm gonna get on the canoe here in a second. It's only noon and uh, go check things out. I didn't even bring a pole. Uh, it was too early, I thought it was too early. Uh, I just didn't get my license yet. I'm not gonna fish without a license. But I don't care about any of that. I am just here to canoe, to relax, unwind from all the corona. <coughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know, man. Get a little reading in. I love to chill and read just for a little bit. You know, when I go do something, then I go read. Mostly at night, though. Once I'm tired and brought some good cold grub, I can bring my own water. Bought a gravity filter, but make it easy it is the flambeau so all right me this paddle and that hat we are going up canoeing man later bye